The Queen Mother's crown is set with 2,800 diamonds, but pride of place in the center sits the dazzling Kohinoor, or Mountain of Light, one of the largest and most controversial in existence. For centuries, the Kohinoor was a spoil of conquest, but in 1849, Dilip Singh, the Maharaja of the vastly wealthy Punjab region of India, was forced by British colonialists to give it up and all his lands at just 10 years old, says historian Anita Anand, co-author of Kohinoor, the history of the world's most infamous diamond. Why do you think for so many South Asians, the Kohinoor has become this burning symbol of the pain of colonialism? The way when it came here, it didn't look the way it does now. It was twice the size. Despite all the advice to the contrary, Prince Albert, Queen, Queen Victoria's husband, decides to recut it to make it behave better, to make it more acceptable to the British. For Indians, it's such a neat metaphor for the Raj, you know, that it changed a people, it changed a place, it diminished a place. In February, Buckingham Palace announced Camilla, the Queen Consort, would wear a modified version of the Queen Mary crown at King Charles's coronation without the Kohinoor. Why does Britain, why does the royal family hold on to it? There have been representations from Afghanistan. There have been representations from Iran. There have been multiple requests for it back from India. So the British always say, okay, you know, all right, we can't give it back because we don't know who to give it to. In the coronation's buildup, the diamond and who it belongs to has become a lightning rod of debate in Britain. Where, where okay, but who's, who's the colonizer? The colonizer, here? Because, the colonizer is Britain. Keep going. Good and it's got back. a really Narinda. bad history. Narinda. And actually, it's dehumanizing Indians around the world because of the history of colonization. Go, Go on, Narinda. Go. Narinda. Right. Even out of sight, the Kohinoor remains a potent symbol, not only of the British Empire and its dark legacies, but of the scrutiny that past now faces. Something Britain's new king and queen consort will have to navigate carefully. So you have one extreme saying, why are you talking about this? All empires take treasure. It's just the, by virtue of colonialism, that's what it's there for. Stop talking about it. Stop making us feel bad. Stop dredging up the past. And on the other side, you have equally sort of opposing and hot, give it all back, send it all back, doesn't belong to you, say sorry, move on. And in the middle, which is where I happen to live, <laughs> it's, can we just talk about it? Can we just say where it came from? Can we just talk about it honestly without conjuring sort of mythologies about things, being grateful gifts? Imtiaz Tayyab, CBS News, London.